Are you having physical ailments that are really bothering you and nothing seems to help? Are you living a life of negativity and you're not feeling balanced and you're not feeling good about yourself? And are you thinking obsessively about other people and things all the time? Is your life full of stress and you want to get rid of all that crap you're carrying? Well, energy healing can help you. If you watch this video, maybe something will pop up that really resonates with you. What is energy healing? Well, we're all energy. We're all made up of energy. Everything in life is. Energy healing is a holistic practice that heals the mind, body, and soul. Uh, a lot of uh, ailments that we have manifested in our physical body actually are problems in our energy. And when the energy is balanced in our body, mind, and soul, these ailments, in fact, are dissolved from our energy system and are healed. There are many, many different types of energy healing, and they all source from the divine, from the creator, from the god, the goddess, and the energy that is channeled to use the healing is love. It's divine love. That is what energy healing is. What is energy not? Energy healing not? Energy healing is not a quick fix. If you have issues, like say physical issues, that need to be healed, uh, an energy healer can help balance the energy field, balance the chakras, work on the field, work on the aura, and cleanse it. But if you have issues uh, that are psychological or spiritual issues that um, aren't being dealt with, then that problem that you have manifesting in your body is still going to be apparent. And it may be healed for the short term, but it will come back. And an energy healing healer that is worth the weight as gold is someone that will tell you that they cannot do more for you at the current time until you work with this specific issue. So it is really important that we're healing the mind, body, and soul. And there are physical issues that need to be looked into deeper. And the energy healing session is beautiful, but a lot of times if the issues are not dealt with, the healing will not be long term. Why is energy healing necessary? Well, because we all are, are all energy and um, all these systems, our auras and everything, we're all affected by everything in our lives. Uh, our electronic devices, the earth, Schumann resonance, all these things affect us. Um, our chakras become out of balance and all of that results in imbalances in our energy field, which is something that energy healing helps to deal with. And when we balance everything, we cleanse the aura, we get rid of entities that are attached to us. We do all these incredible things that are done in energy healing. We become freer, we become lighter, we become more balanced, we become happier. Even myself. I have energy healing done on me, even though I do it. It is something that is a wonderful, relaxing, beautiful thing that you can do for yourself. How does energy healing make a difference? Well, for myself, I find that uh, when I have an energy healing session, I become more balanced, I become less stressed, 
um, my outlook becomes more positive and my body feels better because I have all that negative energy taken away from me. Also balancing the chakras. Uh, I tend to be very unbalanced. I My crown chakra becomes very uh, overextended uh, compared to my base chakra and I need to be grounded more. So when I have a healing session, the crown chakra becomes less activated and my base chakra opens up because all the chakras need to be balanced. Also with regards to the aura, you can clean the health rays and uh, the health rays are really important because that's part of you and it has to do with the physical existence as well as the psychological and the spiritual existence. Also, um, there's entities that we carry uh, that um, uh, attach to us. We get rid of those uh, entities that are sucking us, sucking our uh, positive energy. Those can be unattached. Also, spiritual cords. When we have so many uh, spiritual cords to all these people in our lives, they can be cut in energy healing. And when these cords are cut, we are freer, we are lighter. We are thinking uh, about them less. We, we still love them. They're still in our lives. But our thoughts are less obsessive. And we become freer and lighter and happier as a result. energy healing. Well, our hand chakras are what is used to extend the love from the heart to the world because our hand chakras are attached to our heart chakra. That's how energy healing is done. So, if you want to extend your love to other individuals, Take your palms and kind of rub them. And when you rub them like this, it activates your hand chakras. And then when your hand chakras are activated and you want to send love to somebody, to yourself, to the world, to wherever, you activate these hand chakras. And you breathe in deep. And as you're breathing in, you breathe in the prana, the life force energy of the world. And as you breathe out, imagine this beautiful life force energy, this love coming out of your palms. And when you do that, you can actually feel your palms getting warm. You can actually feel the energy extending, the love resonating from you. Try it. You might be surprised. <laughs>